Hi guys, Samantha here and happy 2023. I hate that this is the first video I'm doing for this year, but I think it's going to be a good one. Um, it was requested that I do a tour of my office and my computer setup. So I decided to do one today. Um, I think a couple people asked me, so I figured I was just going to make a video. Now the tour is super informal. I'm just going to kind of go around and show you guys my computer setup and my collectibles. But if you have any questions about anything in specific, um, like that you see in the video please let me know down below and I will try to get those questions answered for you I'll do a more in-depth tour later once I finish up my pro uh, office because it's still kind of like a work in progress but anyway hopefully you guys enjoy I'll see you in the next one all right guys so my first section of my office would be my computer setup and I currently have a Mac um, it's an iMac Pro that I do all of my editing and stuff on so I've been had it for quite a few years it's probably time for an upgrade but it still works so hey there's that and then on this side is my gaming PCs I currently have two because I'm still in the process of transferring um, stuff over from one to the new one but my new one is a Corsair and I'll have all the specs and stuff down below but I do have a three monitor setup um, one is mounted on the wall and then I have the two that's on the actual desk I have my Corsair headphones, um, my Razer Pink wireless mouse. Uh, this is the charging dock that it comes with. I'm a huge collector, so I have two Nendoroids right here. Um, my baby, Tenjin Uzui. Um, I've definitely talked about him before. <laughs> and of course, Harley Quinn. Um, lately, I've been feeling Persona 5 again, so my wallpapers are all animated Persona 5. Um, my keyboard is a razor and it needs to be replaced. Oh my gosh, it looks so dirty right now, but it needs to be replaced. Um, I normally are like am like this, so this has just gotten worn through, but it is what it is. Favorite Pokemon is Meowth. Of course, my um, Nintendo Switch, my mic. I have like a little lit cherry blossom tree back here and my remotes because I do have the remote for the TV and there's a fire stick attached to it. So. Every once in a while I'm in here working, I like to watch movies. So that's my main desk. Um, this is my chair that I use. It is a Herman Miller. I can't remember the name of it, um, but I've had it for a while. It's by far my most comfortable chair I've ever owned in life. Um, so that's this setup. I do have all of my, con psh, nope, never mind. This is not all my controls. <laughs> I'm missing like two, but I mount them on this thing here as well as like extra cords, another mouse. Um, but there's like two Xbox controllers, two Nintendo Switch ones. And then of course this is for the Joy-Cons, but I'm missing my PlayStation controller and I have a Pikachu controller. I'm missing those too. So not sure for a second, I was like, I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to collect uh, controllers. And then I stopped when I realized this is a crazy idea. So anyway, that's the ones I have. Um, I have a Persona 5 little artwork here. You can kind of see it. The light is reflecting from the window, but it kind of goes to three different characters depending upon how you look at it. Uh, Hasuni Miku, Miku, I love her. I love her cherry blossom version the best. So I got this from Austin and it's like a little wall scroll and it's really, really pretty. Um, and underneath there, of course, we have more Hasuni Miku Nendoroids. Y'all, this looks so dusty. I swear, I swear I dust it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm still collecting more Hasuni Miku Nendoroids. There's like a ton, but these are the ones I have over here. And then I have a figurine here and then a figurine here. A couple notebooks I have. This is my wireless hard drive here. And then I have another one there. And then I also have more right there. Um, I like to listen to music while I'm in here, so that is my wireless Sono system. And these are just some cute little planters. I actually had real flowers in there at one point, well, real um, succulents, and I couldn't keep them alive. And I heard succulents are like the easiest thing to keep alive, but for some reason, I, I suck at keeping them alive. Anyway, here's my Mac setup. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it for that. <laughs> and then I have a Luna rug down here. Part of the reason why it's underneath the, um, the desk and not on the floors because I don't want to step on it and mess it up because it is a handmade rug that I got from a con and my cable management is horrible y'all yeah don't judge me anyway let's move on <laughs> so um this section over here is um a bunch of nendoroids I'll go row by row just to kind of give you guys an idea not nendoroids I'm sorry Funko Pops that I have um but here I have more Sailor Moon stuff 
this she keeps falling but that is a sailor moon um music box and then i have this sailor moon light right here i have this sailor moon um v1 tech artwork you put lights on it it's supposed to be all reflective and stuff but every time i hang it up it falls so right now it's just like leaning up on this thing up against here got another sailor moon over here of course my vr headset my bobble head <laughs> And then we got more Funko Pops, um, a Harley Quinn, my Har Dr. Harleen Quinzel one. This is the Batman animated series one, and this is just a pink, um, I think this was the diamond breast cancer version one. And then I have a puzzle that I probably won't ever put together because it's a thousand pieces. So I do like manga and I do like anime. So I have been slowly collecting different little animes and manga that I enjoy. And here are more Funko Pops because I don't know. Some of them are repeats because I didn't realize I had them and I didn't take them back in time. So their boxes are just sitting here. I forgot to show you guys the most important thing. My moon wands. I'm slowly collecting them. I will have all of them eventually. But anyway, let's go on and get to the pops. We have all of my Harley Quinn pops here. Uh, you're going to see, yep, two Lunas because they kept falling from the top shelf. I don't know why. But um, we have the Suicide Squad version of Harleen Quinzel. Then we have two holiday ones. I'm probably missing some. I like to boast that I have all the Harley Quinn pops, but I'm sure I'm missing some at this point. But these are the ones just on this shelf. Then up here, we have the gentleman from Get Out. Uh, we got a Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, we got Prince, Rick James, Biggie. I would love to get the Tupac Pop, but he's expensive. Anyway, then we got Black Panthers. She keeps falling, so I just let her do her thing because they're bobbleheads and they fall all the time. So yeah, anyway, so and here go the other ones. I am missing Black Panther Pops. I know this, but sometimes you just can't catch them all. Um, I'm going to get a step stool to show you those. All right, we're up higher. <laughs> so I do have all of the Sailor Moon Pops. I can definitely assure you guys I have every single last one of them. So here are those right there. And even the special edition ones I got. So that's all the Sailor Moon ones. Again, Luna's down here because she kept falling. And then up here we have Peyton Manning because I'm from Louisiana. Could not not have a Peyton Manning Pop. And then this is either, this is Venus. <laughs> this is uh, Shaquille O'Neal, because again, I'm from Louisiana and he went to LSU. Um, then we have Queen Beryl, which is the season one, I guess you can call it, enemy from uh, Sailor Moon. And then we have the King Endymion and Princess Serenity and little, I'm sorry, Queen Serenity and then Princess, um, I don't know what you would call her, Rini, the little one. And then we have her when she was in her evil form. And then here we have my Persona 5 Pops. Um, I did not get all of these. And it's partially because they waited so long to release the other ones. So I don't even know if they're all out. So I only have these. But if I can find them all, I'll probably end up having them all. But I tried to section them off based off of series and stuff. So try to, but I couldn't get all the Sailor Moons on one row. And yeah, that's that. So let's go on and step down off the step stool. <laughs> that was work, y'all. Anyway, this shelf here is just um, crafts, another Funko Pop. I think that's a repeat. Um, I am a crafter as well. Of course, I can't open that drawer. So, well, there's a base tin in there. But um, I'm a crafter as well. So I have um, a lot of crafting materials and stuff in here. Um, this has stuff in here. Uh, what is in here? Yarn. <laughs> what else um this one doesn't have as much crafting stuff as but I do craft and stuff as well so sewing stuff that's sewing stuff um that's sewing stuff and because I can't find anywhere to put it there is my one of my sewing machines so um yeah so that's this side of my office so then we'll go here now this is kind of like a couch slash bed I got it from Ikea and you kind of let this part out. Um, I would show you guys, but there's like a little extra section here. You roll this out and it becomes like a bed. So it comes in handy um, if we have guests and um, we need an extra room. So uh, otherwise, the kids just kind of lounge on here when I'm working. So they'll come in here and hang out. But um, <laughs> I'm a collector, like I said. So excuse me. I have like a ton of stuffed animals. Um, trying to collect all of the Animal Crossing stuffed animals. 
but I haven't gotten them all yet. Uh, this is Cane from Raisin Cane's. That's um, a chicken finger place that's here at, that originated in Louisiana as well. Of course, we got Sailor Moon Tuxedo Mask. I think that's just like an edible arrangement bear I got. I just stuck them up here. Uh, we got Captain, we got Harley Quinn, we got Sailor Mars, which is my favorite Sailor Scout. We got another um, cane because I like to collect his plushes. Um, we got Morgana. This one I got from a con, which I thought was really cute because it's double-sided. It's got Isabel and Tom Nook on it. Um, we got the, the married couple, another little random plush. And then we have a unicorn here. And I think, oh, there's a Sailor Moon pillow back there. I think that's it for plushes over here. They kind of get smushed. Um, then we got another Sailor Moon pillow. Meowth, my favorite Pokemon. Then we got Morgana's face. Um, Hasuni Miku, the cherry blossom version. Uh, we got Luna's human version, another Sailor Moon. We got this flamingo because me and Dylan went to the zoo recently and I was like, this is cute. It'll look cute on my bed slash couch. Anyway, um, Princess Leia. Bunny, who is my favorite Animal Crossing character. We got Vault Boy, um, another Isabel. I have two Isabels, I think. Oh, there's the other Isabel. <laughs> KK Slider, um, Luna, and then this is actually Vincent's sheep form from um, Catherine. So if you guys saw me play that, this is his sheep version. Anyway, it came with the box set. Uh, we got Timothy and Thomas, Black Panther. We got a Snorlax because, I don't know, I like him as his little has his little self not when he gets big um then of course who doesn't have these i swear are you happy or are you sad another meowth um chibi moon and then just like a rose plush right there and then of course i have this pillow i think i got everything y'all i swear sometimes i'll be like where is such and such and i'll miss oh there's a pillow back here too demon slayer pillow um and then i have this pillow that sarah actually gave me a long time ago that she made for me so that is pretty much the couch area um in here you about to have fun with this y'all it's a ton of games yay uh we got old sims games we got playstation games we got y'all it goes i can't even take it all the way out but it goes all the way back there of just different games and stuff so when i tell you guys i have games and that i haven't played um yeah this is pretty much that oops and of course you have to make sure everything is flat so you can close it up in this drawer we have oh Cricket. Again, like I said, I'm a crafter, so I have the Cricut machine. Um, I haven't did any paper crafting in forever, but if y'all know anything about the Cricut, it's like a die cutting machine and it'll cut basically these shapes and you just have to assemble them with glue. And I make a lot of cards and stuff with that. And I also have the Imagine. So I'm not gonna say I have every single cartridge, but I know at one point I was really, really close. And this of course goes all the way back there. Um, which if I move this one out the way, you probably can see it goes all the way back there so that's that and this drawer i think is just yeah it's just ribbon some extra little junk another pair of headphones i have these that i have yet to put up they're like phillips um i don't know they're, they're like phillips hue something or another i have yet to put those up so that is in there so that's the bed area all right this other side of my office is another shelf like this of course again it has crafting stuff inside of it i got like markers and um i don't know chalks paint stuff like that um just y'all just a ton of stuff i'm not going to even hold you with all of this stuff it's ridiculous i got a ton of ribbons because i used to make bows and stuff as well um this is more craft stuff it's easy for me that's a, um a cuddle bug and then there's some stamps and stuff down there um, over here, I just got some extra boxes. I like to collect remits. So you guys have ever heard of those. Uh, they're like little miniature thingies or whatever. I have a ton of these that I have yet to do something with. It goes all the way down there. And then some Pokemon stuff in here that I have yet to do something with either. Um, so that's just stuff that I have that's like to do stuff. Anyway, here I have my little marquee board. I try to change it out every once in a while. Honestly, I haven't changed it out in months, so <laughs> it's been like that for a while. Another set of Funko Pops, it's the um, Jack Joker and Batman. They're on the rooftop of, uh, I think of Gotham Hall. Um, there's an on, I got a lava lamp. Um, this is a guardian from Zelda. I think that's what their names are. Anyway, a Yoshi um, Amiibo, cause they stopped selling them. So when I saw him, I bought him immediately. Cause I was like, there's no way I'm not gonna get him. 
And then of course, another set of pops. So this is where that Harley Quinn over there continues. So we have all these Harley Quinn pops. This one right here, <laughs> I love this one. Anyway, if y'all know the animated series, y'all know which scene that was, but anyway. So here's all my other Harley Quinn pops right here. And then we do have some, um, the Emancipation of Harley Quinn pops here. And then we have some more DC pops here. We got a couple Jokers. I'm not a huge Joker fan. I'm more of a Joker fan because of Harley, but not so much him by himself. Um, we got Penguin, Batgirl, uh, Catwoman, <laughs> Batman. And then here go all the pink ones, which are supposed to be like the breast cancer awareness ones. Uh, and then we have the bombshells. And you know what's funny? I really got the bombshells in the collection because I don't know, I thought they were cute, but I never read the comic. I never, if there was a show or anything like that, I never read it, never saw it, whatever. So I just got them just because, but I do love them. Uh, a couple Wonder Womans. We got two Hello Kitties because I am a Hello Kitty fan. Um, this one, which is kind of crazy, it's from, I forget the name of that show, but it was kind of free. It was like a buy one, get one. So I just got it because I thought she was cool. Then we got um, Rugrats. Then we got the Fallout people, Mothman, um, a couple vault people, vault dwellers. Uh, we got Negan in black and white and color. We got Michonne. I literally was just talking about my Funko Pops for Walking Dead. I was like, I don't have all of them, but I got a collection of them. Um, but anyway, that's them. And then of course we got Herschel <laughs> and Glenn and um, the others who are there. Oh, I do have a Rick. I thought I didn't have a Rick, y'all. Anyway, so that's the ones I have over here. Now, unfortunately, I have a little wall space left. Hopefully you guys can tell. Oh, and this is my uh, nano leaves in the middle. You can't see it because the, the window's open and it's dreary outside today. But this is my nano leaves. Um, it just says S because, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so even though I have a little bit of space up here, I'm thinking about putting two more shelves because unfortunately I have more Funko Pops. Ah, they're right here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, so got some run DMCs. I got some more Harleys that I need to put up. Um, Killua. Um, yeah, it just goes on. And unfortunately, y'all, if I scooch these back, um, oh, don't fall. Don't fall. There's some even behind here. So it's like two rows. Well, not a full two rows, but yeah, you guys can kind of see back there. I have basically a whole row back here of pops that need to go up and then a front row. Um, this is a sale. <laughs> this is a piggy bank and it's full. I don't, I bought it thinking like I could put all my coins in there that I need to take over. That was not supposed to happen. All right. Everything is so fickle. Anyway, <laughs> I bought it thinking I could put all my coins in there. It'd be a cute little way to put my coins and stuff up, but not all of them fit in there. So yeah, it's not the best, but it's Sailor Moon, so I felt like, why not? Um, I got this from a con. It's like a little 8-bit, 16-bit, I don't know, Sailor Mars. Um, then on this side, I have a bunch of art books. We got Black Panther, Harley Quinn, a bunch of Harley Quinns. Um, then I got these Harley Quinn figures. We got this one and this one and those. Then we got this one, and then we got this glass. <laughs> Can y'all tell I like Harley Quinn? And then here go some other little magazines and books and stuff. Final Fantasy, a guidebook, just some different little books and stuff. Up here, y'all, it's just like some random boxes and stuff. I, one of these days, I'll go through stuff and see what everything is. But that's this little area right here. Um, and then up there, it's just like extra. Because I don't have a closet in here. So it's just like extra stuff. There's another Harley Quinn pop up there, y'all, I swear. But it's just like extra stuff. Anyway, this shelf <laughs> has some of my Nendoroids. I have the um, the Link one with the horse. I want the Zelda one with the horse, but they don't sell it anymore. And I wish I would have got it when they first had it out. But I was like, yeah, I'll just get Link. And then after I got Link, I was like, I should have got Zelda. Um, I have now, excuse on. I'm going to explain that in a second. And Haru. But anyway, I have all the Persona 5 Nendoroids. I got the collectibles books back there. Isabella is sitting back there because technically she's not mine. She's Alyssa's. But Alyssa won't take her from my office. So I just set her back there. Um, but the reason why An and Haru are missing is because I have the kimono sets and I like to change them out and dress them up. I don't know why, but um, Haru's in a kimono. So basically you just take her head <laughs> and stick her on the body with a, um, a kimono and you put that little accessory in her hand and voila. And then An is over here. Um, so every once in a while, I have also the little bunny suits for them. And I have one more set. I want to say it's like the school outfit or something like that. 
So every once in a while, just to switch things up, I'll switch them up. But this is like my little cherry blossom scene, I guess you could say. This um, Nendoroid is from a game, and I wish I knew which one it was. I have never played the game before. This was purely like a wow, she's a pretty Nendoroid, and she was on a good, she was on sale like for a good price, so I bought her. Um, this one is for how to raise a boring girlfriend. I can't remember the character's name, but she's really sweet. She was like the main love interest, and this is her kimono version. She actually has two versions: one's a schoolgirl, and one's kimono. And then these are some remits that I own um, that I just happened to put out in display because I, I don't know. I try to make like little scenes or whatever. So that was that one. Over here is my Nendoroids for Demon Slayer. I have all of the Demon Slayer Nendoroids. I know before you say no, you don't, Samantha. No, I really do. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the ones that are out right now. Let's put it that way. Um, so here go uh, all of them right there. And I got them in this little, I guess you could say, little room. It's a remit play set too. And it's supposed to mimic like, um, like a house, like a room or whatever. But I tried to squeeze them all in and they don't really fit very well. And the reason why you don't see all of them is because there are some down here. Let me see if I can find them. Um, well darn. Oh, okay. It's this one. Oh, it's these two right here. These two right here, I have yet to put out. They're just in their box, if you guys can see, because I don't have space for them. So as soon as I find space for them, they're supposed to be amongst their counterparts, but, um, yeah, so they're just in there right now. But these are all my Nendoroid boxes. Um, they go all the way back there and over there. And so I just keep them here on this first shelf of this uh, this unit here. Then over here I have, um, is the Order Rabbit. <laughs> I wanted to grab all of the, cause I had, this is so bass accurate y'all, I promise you. This is a remit set that had like a whole bunch of little um, cakes and stuff on it. And then I had salt is the order a rabbit and they had like a little coffee shop and they were serving like little pastries and hand but so i decided to make a little scene with them uh the two characters and put like a little table and chair set and then they have like you know their bakery and everything and it's just basically like a, my plan was to make this whole scene um but i have yet to finish it because i just don't have time half the time to do stuff like this but eventually hopefully i'll get the other uh is the order rabbit and then i just got two books back here let's make ramen let's make dumplings i thought these books were so cool i got them from kuna kanaya i'm probably butchering the name of that bookstore but they're like really i don't know how to describe it like it's just kind of cool to like flip the, i probably will never make anything from this book but i just love how the book looks like i really do i just like how it looks i just thought it was a really cool looking book and then i felt like it'll be really cute behind my two nendoroids that cook basically basically that's the <laughs> that's the inspiration behind that so there you have it i kid y'all not when i say i'm a big kid i'm a big kid like i really am um, I don't even know how else to explain it. Some of you might feel away like, wow, Samantha, you have a lot of toys. I don't even consider these toys. These are like collectibles of my favorite things. And you know, that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, so in the center of my office is like this pink rug. Um, you're going to see like a line in the center of it <laughs> because a lot of times it's folded in half because when I go roll my um, chair back, it goes over the rug. But Cairo does sit in here, which is my dog. Um, and lays on the rug a lot so i'll just like fold it up for him so he can lay in here with me i mean but that's pretty much it guys so i mean kind of basic oh my computers went off anyway kind of basic oh <laughs> let's talk about the ceiling i forgot about that so long story short i decorated my office for my birthday last year and i was heavily into cherry blossoms I like to do like themes and stuff for birthdays. So my theme was going to be cherry blossoms. Alyssa made me this really cute cherry blossom cake. I was going to stream. I had a cherry blossom outfit and you know, I just ended up getting out the mood because of, um, you know, situations happening that were beyond my control, unfortunately. So I never got a chance to really celebrate like how I would have wanted to celebrate. So I ended up just leaving the cherry blossoms up. Um, but there's like these little lantern thingies that just hang from the ceiling, but I'm probably going to take those down. I have another idea of what to put up there but um yeah that's pretty much that from the year so it's it's a lot um but yeah that's pretty much it guys i didn't even show you guys my little blanket here my sailor moon blanket which is so cute the kids will use this too when they come in here it's got like y'all i'm a huge cherry blossom person anyway it's got like cherry blossoms and stuff on it um 
and it's like a whole scene with all the girls enjoying the cherry blossoms it's it's really cute but anyway so that's just like a little blanket that we put here i'm just gonna drape it there for the time being for the kids but yeah that's pretty much it for the office tour if you guys have anything in particular to ask me about um as far as like where i got something from or i don't know um what something means or I, I don't I don't really know <laughs> just let me know and I will get the information to you a lot of this stuff has been things I've collected over the years um, some of it's from Amazon some of it's from cons like a lot of these pictures and stuff from cons or from anime shops or whatever um, like yeah these Nidoroids we actually got when we went to California for the anime con and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my office tour. Um, it's not very clean very often, so I felt like, hey, it's clean. I might as well take advantage of it and show you guys what's what. So again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye.